Value viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. A special shout out to my Super Thanks contributor at Frank Seco 4596 Your contribution means a lot to me, sir. Thank you very much. And today's video is all about where the origin of the Super Steam articulated locomotives came from, which was the old mod number 2400 from the B&O Railroad. Enjoy. Alrighty, so this story begins all the way back in 1904. The Baltimore and Ohio's 0660 No. 2400 was the first Malay type to be built in the United States, although its forerunner named for its designer appeared in France in 1875. Designed by James Molefield of the B&O and Carl J. Mellon of the American Locomotive Company, it was completed in time to be exhibited at the St. Louis Exhibition, from which it went into service handling freight over the road's heavy western Pennsylvania grades. Not only did it more than exceed expectations in every respect, thus vindicating a number of new features in the design, but Old Maud inaugurated a trend to such power. And folks, I don't have to tell you, if you're in the railroading, you know what such power I'm referring to. So while the old mod was built in 1904, its actual idea or concept idea actually came up in 1903, where we had the anecdotal story of Baltimore and Ohio President Leo Lore and Baltimore and Ohio General Manager Clifford Sims taking a walk one morning, where Lore asked Sims, what do you know about Malay locomotives? Being at a loss for words, Sims could only assure Lori that all available data would be on his desk the following morning. So the next morning comes around and Lori has all this new information in front of him and he was quite impressed with the case the Frenchman made for his engines which were twice as powerful as any yet produced. And that's where the chief designer James Mulfield and Alco went to work in designing the 0660 that we know as Old Mod. And once it was built, the mighty melee silenced its critics when after the exposition, it was deadheaded to Connellsville, Pennsylvania, and tested on the line's 15-mile-long sand patch grade. On that grade, routinely, two heavy consolidation engines hoisted 2,000-ton trains to the summit, but the 2400-old mod performed the same chore unassisted while burning a third less of coal. And Molefield's attention to details have produced a phenomenon that an experimental locomotive, for once, did not have any faults. And one original concept of interest that Mofield created was that due to inadequate clearances, which prevented the use of inside valve gear, Mofield created external wall shirt type valve gears, and to control them simultaneously and without effort, he provo provided an ingenious arrangement of levers connected to a double acting piston housed in a small cylinder. And then compressed air directed against one face of the plunger or the other by adjusting a hand lever lowered or raised the cumbersome radius rods and held them securely in the desired positions. An equally original device called an intercepting valve delivered high pressure steam to all the cylinder cylinders at startup. Then, the need as the need for tractive effort decreased, its passages were realigned for compound operation. Without the mechanism, Mulfield believed the engineers would be tempted to pour on uh, full power at all times, and this would have overtaxed the boiler capacity of the locomotive. And we've all heard about the old adage that steam locomotives have their own personalities regardless if they're in the same type of class or what have you. So, not surprisingly, the men who engineered the 2400 up and down a big hill found its number too colorless for such a personable machine. And within months, they gave it a name borrowed from that of the old fabulous strong cartoon uh, strip mule, which was Old Maud. And the locomotive would forever retain that moniker until it was scrapped in 1938. While all this testing was going on in Old Maud, meanwhile, and not surprisingly, the Baldwin Locomotive Works stole a march on Old Maud's maker, the American Locomotive Company, by being the first to profit from a lesson learned on the Sam Patch grade. All Mulfield really wanted from Old Maud was to be a pusher type locomotive and not a mainline freight type locomotive or what have you. Baldwin noted the lack of leading truck and trailing truck wheels, and to go along with that, they fully realized the potential of compound locomotives and basic articulated simple locomotives for sustaining running with heavy freight trains. And in 1906 and 1907, Baldwin produced 32662s for the Great Northern Railway. 
And just like with the weapons industry of the time, that created the locomotive war between Alco and Baldwin. So Alco counters with the Erie Railroad's three Mother Hubbard locomotives, and they were 0880s weighing 38 more tons than the old mod. And from that point of time on, the popularity of the Malay type spread rapidly and was well established by 1909, which was just five years after the old mod's introduction. Ultimately, the Malley would prove the most practical and popular compound design and the only type of compound to survive until the end of steam. And Malleys were built in several different wheel arrangements. You have the 0880, you have the 2880, the 2680, the 2442, and even a 21010 However, the two most popular arrangements which accounted for the majority of Malay types in the United States were the 2662 and the 2882 types representing some 1300 locomotives and 625 locomotives respectively. So with that, the following specifications apply to the Baltimore and Ohio's locomotive number 2400, class O slash DD1, known as Ode Maud. As mentioned earlier, the valve gear used was Walsh's valve gear. The construction date was 1904 by Alco. The driver diameter was 56 inches. Boiler pressure was 235 pounds per square inch. It had two high pressure cylinders at 20 inches by 32 inches and two low pressure cylinders at 32 by 32 inches. The tractive effort was 65,664 pounds. The factor of adhesion was 5.10. The engine weighed 334,565,000 pounds with a adhesion factor of all of that 334,565 pounds over the drivers. The tender weighed 143,000 pounds for total en uh, engine and tender combined weight was 477,000 uh, pounds. Correction, that was 477,565,000 pounds. The tender co holds 7,000 U.S. gallons. The tender fuel capacity was 13 tons. The minimum weight on the rail was 93. The firebox area was 219.40 square feet. The grade area was 72.20 square feet. And once again, the railroad classification was class O slash DD1. And I'll wrap up this video by thanking you for watching this video. If you enjoyed today's content, please hit the like button. And also, if you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Both features help my channel grow immensely. And turn on all of your notifications if you want to see all of my uploads, which occur once or twice a day nowadays. And visit our print shop at nickelplatelimited on Etsy.com if you want to support the channel in that way. And don't forget the super thanks on the taskbar of the this uh, YouTube page. Thank you very much.